The Virginia Supreme Court has thrown out the child molestation conviction of a Northern Virginia Democratic activist. Michael Gardner was convicted in 2012 of sexually abusing two girls during a sleepover after his daughter's 10th birthday party. The high court tossed the verdict after determining the trial judge improperly barred testimony. Stephen Cheetah is live from the Arlington County Courthouse now with the details. Stephen? Ellison, 50-year-old Michael Gardner was sentenced to 22 years in prison, but tonight his family issued a statement saying they are ecstatic. They expect Michael Gardner home soon. They said that they believe his conviction all along was based on a flawed prosecution. He has spent his days in prison since his 2012 conviction for sexually molesting two little girls at his Falls Church home. But now the Virginia Supreme Court says the judge in Michael Gardner's trial erred by not allowing character witnesses to testify about whether Gardner has a reputation as a good caretaker of children. The prosecutor in the case says the evidence is strong and said we are looking forward to setting a trial date again. Nicole Whitman also said she is disappointed, especially for the victims, the children. The evidence in this case was overwhelming. Gardner's family issued a statement stating, we have always known that Michael's trial had many errors. We are pleased that the Supreme Court of Virginia came to the same conclusion. During the trial, three girls, ages 10 and 9, testified Gardner had come to them during sleepovers in his home in 2011 and touched them. He maintained his innocence till the very end, as did Gardner's wife, Robin, a former Falls Church mayor. There is no doubt in my mind that my husband did not commit the crime he has been found guilty of, and I will stick by him. Michael Gardner is expected to transfer from prison to a Northern Virginia jail where he will petition for bond. But the prosecutor does say she is adamant that she expects him back in a courtroom here in Arlington to stand trial again, and she believes that he will be convicted yet again as well. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.